are back and conservation is can be called a trending topic on Guam because it's something that we all care about and it is year round. I have William and Leilani here and we are talking about conservation as I understand it guys in the southern part of the island. Yes, very yes. south. What a wonderful place to start. <laughs> okay, and that, that is the case. Right? We're starting with Marizo right now, right? But yes. hopefully this will spread to the other villages. Absolutely, uh, the entire island. Yeah. Okay, um, I'd love to hear about this project. How to get started and what's the whole scope? Okay, so it started um, about three years ago. Uh, I, went, I went scuba diving off the pier and um, discovered this entire habitat that was not natural. It was mostly composed of decades and decades of trash and just things that were chucked off the pier. The one thing that really caught my eye was the amount of fishing line that was just um, uh, discarded off the pier. They unintentionally hooked the coral and then just chopped the lines off and let them sink down to the bottom. And this drapes over all the coral. That's astonishing. Yeah, and they, then people it, down there are, are typically are very responsible fish. Yeah, yeah, when they fish. yeah, and it's it's kind of it comes down to um, the uh, way people f are fishing, right? So if you're throwing out your sinkers and letting it sink down, it's inevitable it's going to hook the coral. So after you chop it, they just kind of disregard what happens to it next. Well, it ends up sinking down and laying over the coral, and that accumulates all kinds of um, debris and uh, stuff that bl eventually blocks out the light for the coral. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that um, from our uh, background in environmental biology at the University of Guam, uh, coral are the keystone species for that habitat. Now, mm -hmm. if the coral leaves, there will be no more fish at Marizo Pier. Yep. Uh, so, yes, yeah, our project aims to going down there and ensuring that the coral has a natural place to grow. And what is the metric, um, Leilani? Because, like, if you drag fishing line, like, across coral for every centimeter that a coral has to grow back, it takes four years or something like that? It takes really long for coral to grow back, depending yeah. on the species. But, yeah, it, it takes a while. Mm -hmm. Well, you are a graduating senior. Congratulations, I first know, of all. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to work in marine bio. So, what, what, is, I do. what does I it mean to you to be to actually be, you know, hitting the ground running, or in this case, the water? Mm -hmm. Well, in terms of being in the ocean and hitting hitting the water, as mm -hmm. you were saying, um, everything I try to do is conservation based. This all started out in high school when I took marine biology um, mm -hmm. with Miss Wynn, and that's basically where conservation took off for me was when I was applying these things that I was learning into the ocean when I would actually put on a mask, put on a snorkel, get in the water and see the very things that I was learning about. So that was pretty much the foundation for my conservation driven career path. And so once I graduate, I really would like to just wherever I can be in terms of conservation, if it's with Department of Ag, if it's with NOAA, if wherever I can get, you know, apply this passion is Guys, where I want to. Hire her. <laughs> She's really, really got a smart. She's really ready. <laughs> get your LinkedIn profile ready and everything. Yes. We're, we're going to help you find a job of your dreams here at KU. We'll, we'll, get, we'll get that deal done. Okay. For the, for the immediate time being, though, um, what are you doing with your peers? Because you know, my generation, we were idiots, basically, <laughs> right? Well, a lot of what's wrong with the planet right now is because people in my peer group, we didn't know that what we were doing was wrong. Well, um, it's still kind of like that today. It's, well, you, it's you guys are at least aware of it, and you have yeah. you have the choice. Us, mm -hmm. we were just you know damaging the planet. We didn't even know. Right, things and, and things have changed, right? So we had hairspray so, that we were destroying uh, the ozone yeah, layer. Social that, media that is our weapon of choice now. <laughs> nice. So we can actually reach out to more and get the word out. And through this project, we're actually aiming to building a foundation for the future. So we want we don't see this project making a big enough difference in the long run. The real difference is going to happen when policy changes start coming up. That's and very true. building this foundation for people to come down and use the Marizo Pier Project as like a channel to get into the water and see what our species is doing as a whole and just the disregard that some, some of us have for the environment will open up that conversation. You know, like we'll start talking about, hey, what can we do to make a difference? And that conversation will not start unless people start seeing the real impact that um, fishing line and we have. Uh, here on island. Okay, so yeah. since this is a call to action, Leilani, uh, what do people, what can people do on their own? I mean, certainly there's going to be a lot of people that want to join your cause. Mm -hmm. They may join a Facebook group of yours, you know, yes. like they can, they can establish that social network. But if people just go down there on their own and yes. they find stuff, what can they do to make a difference? All right, so we do actually have two components for the project. And for the past three years, well, this is our third year, we've always done the scuba portion, the snorkel in water cleanup. So if you want to come down to Marito, you can participate. If you are a scuba diver, you can get in the water, go down to depth and collect marine um, debris down there. If you're a snorkeler, you can stay shallow and um, collect marine debris there or just cruise along the coast, walk down and get trash there. But this year, for the first time, we're actually incorporating a uh, conservation fair. So it's gonna be an outreach component that we're throwing in to invite the community down to Marizo so that they could see the impact that they're having on marine life when all this 
debris is being brought up from the pier and see the impact that they're having on our oceans and then go to this conservation fair that's happening right next door and talk to different organizations that you know are doing different conservation work on island and learn about how they as individuals can make a difference so the conservation fair is going to be at the maritzo park Right yes, so, okay. yes, exactly. So the cleanup is going to run from 8 to 4. Yeah. That's all day. And, and that's the targeting outreach. the divers and anybody who's willing to get mm -hmm. in the water and help clean. Her fair portion of this whole project is uh, specifically targeting the younger generation, so the children. So if the kids can come and see it, we really hope that this will kind of guide them in their actions for the future. Mm -hmm. So if they can come down and see the uh, other organizations and their efforts in conservation on island, and then see us actually making an effort to clean up the bottom of the pier, we're essentially acting out um, a means for them to be better um, inhabitants of Guam, I guess. Okay, locals, I'm telling yeah. you, once again, GovGuam, please pick these two up. Give them a shot <laughs> because, because they are amazing, shining examples of what young Guamanians should be. They got the passion, they got the brains, they got the drive. If you don't, National Geographic will. <laughs> we're we're going to lose them to Disney. <laughs> <laughs> not the same thing, but the face probably like yeah, a little bit better. That's not a bad place, the happiest planet on it. Exactly. The happiest yeah. place on it. You get free tickets to Avengers yeah. all the time. Yeah, okay, it's so hard to be Guam, man. Yeah. Okay, so on a serious note, where can people find you guys on social media if they would, if they have ideas, if they'd like to, you know, Yeah, so the, um, our event on Facebook is the main page where uh, I'm constantly updating and kind of keeping pe people posted about what's going on um, at the pier. I post, uh, I'm posting aerial shots of the pier, so if you want to kind of get an idea of what it looks like from above and map out and uh, kind of have a familiarity with the area before you enter the water and see really the coral heads and where you can uh, kind of focus your efforts, you can use it on the Facebook page. Oh, you probably get some sick drone shots from Oh, yeah, they're great drone shots. Oh, wow. We got them at Thank Golden you. Hour. Uh, one of our good friends, uh, Tati and uh, Robert, were down there at the pier, and they sent up a drone and got some awesome nice. shots. Yeah, so yeah. you can see this. Uh, I have a link on the Facebook page. It's a virtual reality shot of uh, Marito Channel. Oh, sweet. Yeah, a so 360 degree one. Uh, oh. Yep. <laughs> okay, so before we go, we got to run to commercial break, but uh, what is that Facebook page? Um, it's the Marito Pier Project. It's okay. on the Facebook. All right. Thank you both for this yes. enlightening discussion. We wish you the very best of luck and let us know what we can do to help. Oh, thank you. Thank All you right. for having us. All right, come back anytime. We want to see how the project progresses. Absolutely. Awesome. All right, and come right back. We